Welcome back guys, my name is Dwarven and today we have got Journey to the Salvage Planet. Hot garbage. Let's kick this one off. Oh, we're on our, on our way to our destination, then we have a problem. Here's the Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. <laughs> From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. <laughs> but don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> But I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Well, I'll leave. Please take the questionnaire on the computer. Otherwise, don't. I can't open the door, or turn on the lights, or feed you. So where's my fucking computer? Greetings, it looks like you've made it. Good job. As your kind red employee experience program benefit contracts, you are contractively obligated to submit regular reports during your mission. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? <laughs> um... You're not crazy. Thank you for your time, Explorer. This is the end of this report. Please press submit to send your points. Enjoy your Avenger. Stay alive. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. Oh, Rob, the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. So there's a load of crafting recipes we need to unlock. Well, there's only really one thing you can do here. And remember that work can be exercise. <laughs> the teleporter. I hope this doesn't hurt. Ah. 
some grub out of there. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. To aid in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please Ooh. launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Nice. Boop. Boop. Why are you working? Mm. Ah, that's better. Ouch. Well, look. Uh, can you help me out? Thanks. Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang upness Do that now. That's not supposed to look like that. This machine will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Oh, nice. You can slide. Ah, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. Is this the alloy? Oh. I am detecting a fortuitously fragile surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. These crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. So, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. So cute. <laughs> slip, slip, slip. Hey, look at that. You picked up some carbon. Good for you. Nice work. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic nomad plasma pistol. The three printer inside the javelin is ready for oh, your cool. input. I would like one of them, please. Got a weapon. The single most important tool for any colonizer. Nice. It may sound weird, but do you see a large tower moving above you? I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. These unhatched alien eggs can be used like a natural trampoline. Ethically iffy, yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. Oh. Ooh. This plant's berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. As with all edibles, take it slow. <laughs> Get a flying bitch left. Hello. Hello. This thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. 
So I hear you've arrived on ARY26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. It's a bit creepy. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Okay. Meat scraps, fat and gristle finding its way to your trash? What a waste! Or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting! Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted cuddly <laughs> companion from Slimo. Just take your animal-based waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short pie chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to cuddle. Meat Buddy, the snuggly playmate from Slimo. This game is something goes. Mini Mo Monkey's Micro Mills Plaza, the ultimate Earth life simulator. Create tiny human life forms by just adding sub zero radioactive water to a micro life powder packet and see your mall's inhabitants grow in just minutes. Watch them stroll, shop, and live as they autonomously move throughout their very own shopping complex, completely unaware of your presence. <laughs> Engage in fascinating examination of standard Earth activity or declare a Black Friday and send your shoppers into a violent bargain hunting frenzy where only the strong survive! <laughs> Nemo Monkey's Micro Mills Plaza comes with environmentally stabilized shopping mall bio chamber. Three packets of powdered micro monkeys and stirring stick from Lil Labs. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. Ah. Hmm. I believe that mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate long-term impacts are unknown but ingestion is of course completely your decision please remain calm i am monitoring your physical response all is as predicted i am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved Suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. That looks like it's just tough. Might want to get that. <laughs> to your energy signature. A big electric jolt should disable its mechanism for a while. I'll update your compass if the cartographers find anything to do just that. Most of your bones have been replaced with rock hard space tumors. Good news. Potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear. Gotta love them tumors. As much as 
you may like to make the attempt. The jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. But fear not. The cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters. Please redirect your exploration efforts towards it. sort of natural adhesive, so... I guess we're flinging poop now? I don't get it. This planet was supposed to be devoid of intelligent life, but these structures... Why don't you scan this one? Looks like some sort of transport device. If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. Before you jump in, Kindred says I need to read you a 400-page waiver absolving them of all responsibility. I speed read. Oh, nice. So we got different teleporters. A great synthesize. I definitely need to have more ammo. The Glimmering Cave of Wonders. That's better, how can you see? Wow, this may be the first ever chronicled example of alien art. Just, uh... Inspect that. Good work! Now you have the required resources to print a brand new jump pack at the habitat. Well untested and not necessarily <laughs> safe, it is guaranteed to be amusing. Yum. Oh. Yes, please. I see you have upgraded your jetpack. While not capable of full flight yet, it should still allow you to access previously unreachable locations with only minimal release of atmospheric pollutants. <laughs> yep. Wonder what's in here. Ooh. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh man. Oh, I made it. Nature's little hoarder. Amazing. You found a different nugget of the alloy we've been searching for. This should still allow me to perform the necessary repairs, and I salute your proclivity for self direction. Okay, we couldn't get it before. Now we have the upgrade. A plant with a taste for meat. Charming. Uh, I like these things. Feed another one. That was a lot easier. Nope. 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 That's the second set of her up. You can craft an upgrade if you wanna. Mini Mall Monkeys Micro Mills Plaza, the ultimate Earth Life Simulator. Create tiny human life forms by just adding some. You brought the alloy back. Perfect. I will now be able to. 
complete my repairs on the javelin, which will eventually allow you to leave this planet. Hey. Better still, this particular alloy seems to be capable of crafting many different upgrades. I have unlocked several new blueprints in your 3D printer. It's like Christmas over here. That's going to be it for today, guys. If you enjoyed, hit the like. Comment on anything I can brew on. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I hope you enjoyed.